Hello everyone, hope everyone is doing good. My name is Anket and welcome back to another brand new video. Today we are going to talk on a very interesting topic that is digital marketing. It's going to be a really interesting video. So without any further delay, let's begin. Digital marketing, online marketing is just like any other type of marketing. It's a way to connect and influence your potential customers so they can use your services or buy your products. But the difference here is that you do all this digitally. That means you do all this on the internet. So this is known as digital marketing. As we know, internet consumption is increasing day by day. In fact, according to internet world stats, out of 7 billion population, 4 billion are active internet users. Imagine, it's such a huge number. And also in the year 2020, now this has been increased by 65 percent so it's a great opportunity to start your business online or take your business online to reach more customers and do more sales so as i said digital marketing is just like any other type of marketing but the marketing done here is through videos online advertisements blogs articles social media and emails so now there arises a question what are the advantages of digital marketing? Why should we switch from traditional marketing to digital marketing? We're gonna know that. But before that, we need to understand the difference between traditional marketing and digital marketing. So traditional marketing is the older way of marketing. Here the marketing is being done through TV ads, newspapers, banners, posters, radio, magazine, etc. Still nowadays, most of the companies use traditional marketing to market their products or services, but now many companies are adopting the digital marketing strategy and making their business online and I hope in future all the companies would leave traditional marketing and completely switch over to digital marketing. So now what is the downside of traditional marketing? So in tra traditional marketing the marketing as I said is being done through TV ads, newspaper banners, posters etc. So all these sources require a very big budget. So in traditional marketing you need to have a lot of money to do proper traditional marketing because running tv ads ads in radio or printing in magazines you need to give a very big amount to those who run tv ads or newspaper companies etc so you need to have a very big budget so the small business owners cannot do proper traditional marketing as they don't have a huge budget to run ads so the reach or in the business becomes very less so this is the first concern in traditional marketing. Second, the ads you are being shown in traditional marketing, so the number of people actually buying your service or products becomes very less. For example, you put, uh, I'm assuming you put 10,000 in ads, but the profit you are gaining is very less, like 2,000 or 5,000. So you are in loss. So this is another concern in traditional marketing. The reason is that whenever someone watches TV or newspaper, the ads are shown to everyone, despite of age, gender, location, whatever. These are some factors. So for example, uh, one company is selling some beauty products, right? Uh, makeup and all that. So if the, the, that ad is shown to everyone, whether it's a boy, it's a girl, it's a small age, like uh, five, six year children, or uh, like 40 to 50 year old, 60 to 70 year old. So in that way, a man would not buy makeup products, right? But only the female would buy makeup products, but the ads are shown to all of them, whether it's a men, female or whatever. So in this way, the conversions or actually people buying that product becomes very less. So this is one uh, second downside of traditional marketing. So now coming to digital marketing. So in digital marketing, the marketing is being done through videos, online ads like Facebook ads, Google ads, Twitter ads, LinkedIn ads, Quora ads and much more. Also social media, email marketing, blogging, articles, etc. So there's a very huge uh, different sources to do digital marketing. Second, the reach in digital marketing is really huge. The number of people actually buying your service or product increases very much in digital marketing. Let me tell you why. So all these social media platforms like Facebook, Google, Twitter, LinkedIn and Quora and other platforms, 
they track your activities they track what you search on the internet what's your age what's your gender what's your location and they create a profile of you and they show you ads in whichever field or topic you're interested for example let's say i'm interested in business or i'm interested in digital marketing so google facebook or whatever social media you're using will show you that only that ads which are related to business or digital marketing so in this way the uh, number uh, sorry the chances of actually buying the product increases very much so this is a very good plus point in digital marketing you are actually showing the ads to those people who are actually interested in buying the product so in this way the amount you invested in digital marketing or in ads and the returns you get from it in uh, will be like three times or four times or maybe 10 times we don't know but it is really very very much now we're going to talk about the types of digital marketing there are a lot of different types of digital marketing sources which you can use but we're going to talk about the five main sources which is popular nowadays so the first one is search engine optimization or we can say seo the second is smm social media marketing the third one is affiliate marketing fourth one is ppc ppc means pay per click and the fifth one is email marketing so i have made a video on seo affiliate marketing email marketing you would get all the links down in the video description you can watch them and these videos were uh, i made something around some months ago and it's not uh, like very informative so i would make uh, an update video on these topics as well so in this video i'm not going to explain all these uh, i'm gonna make separate videos separate five videos on all this so just i'll let clarify this five a bit uh, so seo means search engine optimization it's a process which is used to you can rank your web pages on google or uh, google's first page or in top ranking so that you get more organic traffic smm is social media marketing here, here marketing is being done through social media you can use popular social media platforms like facebook twitter instagram linkedin etc to market your services or products third one is affiliate marketing affiliate marketing basically means you promote someone's product and in return when, uh, when someone buys that product in return you get a commission from the seller so this is known as affiliate marketing fourth one is ppc ppc means pay per click Pay per click basically means that when you put an ad in Google or Facebook and when someone clicks on that ad only at that time you pay uh, some money to Google or Facebook on whichever platform you have put the ad in you do that if no one clicks on your ad you do not pay any money to these platforms so this is known as pay per click ads and the fifth one, uh, fifth one email marketing yes email marketing is basically means you send emails you create a list of subscribers that subscribe to your email list and you send them emails regularly including some products or if you have any courses or if you own a service you can send them the links and they could buy your products or use your services or buy your courses etc so you basically do the marketing through email so this is all the main five sources of digital market ways of digital marketing in which you could do digital marketing I've been speaking from very long my mouth is really hurting right now so if you like the video then do share it among all your friends and also you can follow me on social media the links are in the video description thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video till then 